Brewster's greatest gift. Got the bigger wagon. You okay, Hot? You look a little tired. Maybe you're low on fuel. Nah, just need to catch my breath. I'll be fine. So, what's next, Eddie? We need to dig four holes that we can pour cement into. Then we put the water tower legs in the cement. I'm on it. Maybe you should take a break, Hodge. You do look a little tired. I'm fine. Popping horns! What was that? I don't know, but I feel kind of funny. Better get him to the repair shed. Hang on, Hodge. We're gonna get you some help. It's not good, Hodge. You overheated your radiator. Oh, well, that doesn't sound so bad. You can just give me a new one, right? That's the thing, we can't. Your radiator is an older model, and they don't make it anymore. Huh, well, thanks for letting me know. Wait, where are you going? Gotta go help Eddie. Those holes aren't gonna dig themselves. Hold on, Hodge, you can't dig anything. Sure I can. I feel a lot better. That's because you've had a chance to rest. But without a working radiator, any hard work will make you overheat again. But hard work is what I do, and Eddie needs me. I'm really sorry, Hodge, but you need to take it easy from now on. I just heard about Hodge. Is he okay? I think they just said something about a bad elevator. Or a bad alligator? Could Hodge have a bad alligator? How are you feeling, Hodge? <sighs> Not so terrific. Got a busted radiator. Radiator! <laughs> that makes more sense. <sighs> Sorry, Brewster. Looks like I won't be able to help you and Eddie finish installing the water tower. Don't worry about that, Hodge. We just want you to feel better. We should really let Hodge get some rest. He's had a tough day. See you all later. Poor Hodge. Maybe we could do something to cheer him up. I know. We can get him a present. Presents make everyone smile. Yeah! Great idea, Brewster! Any change at all? <sighs> Afraid not. That's about as fast as you can go without overheating. But I'm hardly moving. Hodge, we got you a present. To make you feel better. On account of your busted alligator. A radiator. Ta-da! It's a brand new welding car. Thanks. It's really nice. You don't like it? We can get you something else. It's not that, it's just I can't use it. Maybe not now, but when you get better, you can use it all the time. Hodge isn't going to get better. Huh? What do you mean? Not get better? Without a radiator, he could easily overheat, which means he can't do any more hard work ever again. You guys keep the welding car. Thanks for thinking of me. This is awful, and all because of a radiator. They're really important to keep you chugging cool and strong. Do we all have a radiator? Yep. Well, except for Brewster. Huh? Am I going to overheat too? Sorry, Brewster. What I meant was you actually have two radiators. Though you probably only need one. See? One, two. Oh, wow! And it's actually the exact same model as Hodge's radiator. Which means you could donate one of your radiators to Hodge, if you want to. I do. I mean, I would. But you just said we need our radiators to keep chugging cool and strong. It's completely your decision, Brewster. What if I give one of my radiators to Hodge, but then I can't do any more hard work? If you decide to donate to Hodge, you'd still be the same chugger you've always been. Let me show you what I mean. All right, you do some work, and I'll show you how hard your radiators are working with this. I'm guessing you'll never even have to use your second one. Okay, I guess we'll see. Look, it's turning red. It is? It's just showing how much you're using your first radiator, which is barely at all. Let's try something harder. heavier than those apples. It's getting red again. Yikes! <laughs> Only about halfway on your first radiator. You didn't even come close to using your second one. Really? That was pretty tough. 
but I'm still not sure. Let's try something really tough. How does it... Bumpers! You're using almost all of your first radiator. Honking! Horns! But even with all that hard work, you never even used your second one. Yeah, but I got really close. A little more pushing and I might have... I'm sorry. I... I'm just too scared to give Hodge my second radiator. I can't wait till you're feeling better, Hodge. Doing repairs just isn't the same without you. The thing is, Eddie, I can't help you with repairs anymore. Not ever. Oh, Hodge. I'm so sorry. Me too. Helping you is my favorite thing to do in the whole world. Was my favorite thing. I just want to be me again. That's terrible. I can't imagine how sad I'd feel if I couldn't work with the Chugganeers anymore. Lori, I have something to tell you. Hogan Horns, who left this here? Ugh. That was your final test. And you nailed it. And look at this. Do you mean... Even after ramming that huge boulder? Probably the heaviest thing you've ever moved. You still didn't use your second radiator. And you know what? It doesn't even matter. I was coming to tell you that I've decided to donate my second radiator to Hodge. Are you sure? It's a big decision. No one will think you're a bad friend if you decide not to. I'm still kind of scared. But if I can help Hodge get better, I've got to try. Wowzer, Brewster. You're so brave. You walk and change so quickly you don't even know when. And you wonder if you'll ever be your old self again. You want to step up and help, but wonder will it be okay? Choose friendship over fear and you No matter what you're going through, even if it's scary and unknown, I'll still be me, and you'll still be you, and we don't have to go through it alone. Yes, I'll still be strong, and I'll still be tough. We'll have each other when times get rough. Now, would you look at Like I'm me again! And I'm still me! Brewster, you gave me the greatest gift a friend could give. I'm just so glad I could. And we've got a job to finish. Looks like you could use an extra wheel. Or two. Hodge, am I glad to see you. But what about your radiator? Got a brand new one, thanks to my buddy Brewster. And check out my new welding car. Wow, that is really something special but not as special as you two. All right, enough chit chat. We've got work to do. Yeah! Chuggington Noir. Brewster reporting for Doc's duty. Glad you made it here so quickly, Brewster. Skipper Stu could really use your help. I'm on it, V. Hey, Hodge. Hey, Eddie. What are you doing? We're fixing the carousel. Hey, Cormac, did Skipper Stu ask you to come help, too? I'm just picking up a brand new electric motor for my crane. It's ten times stronger than my old one. Wow, I bet that makes it the most powerful motor in Chuggington. Ahoy there, Brewster. I need you to clear these containers, please. We have a ship coming in tonight. Aye, aye, Skipper Stu. I'm on it. Hello, work trainee. We're all set for when the ship comes in. Uh-oh. 
I hope that ship doesn't get lost in that fog. As long as our trusty lighthouse is shining brightly, we have nothing to worry about. Ah, okay. Now we have something to worry about. Good thing we have Eddie here. He can fix anything. I can't fix that. What? I can't fix it because nothing is broken. But there's no light. Because there's no power. Something is using up all the electricity, but I have no idea what it is. Well, we have a ship coming in soon. And without the lighthouse as a guide, it could crash on the rocks. So we better solve this mystery fast. A mystery? Yes. It was a mystery, all right. One that could only be solved by Chuggington's top detective. A chugger built for the shadows. And good thing, because shadows and darkness were all we had. Someone, or something, is stealing all the power from the lighthouse. Um, Brewster? Detective Brewster is on the case. I'll find what's stealing power from the lighthouse. And I'll go with you. If something needs fixing, then I can help. Sorry, Hodge. All the top detectives work alone. But if you don't have someone with you, then who will witness all your brilliant detective work? Good point. Come along, Hodge. We've got a mystery to solve. Remember, to be a good detective, you have to keep your eyes open at all times. You can't afford to miss any clue, even a teeny tiny one. Oh, you mean like... Uh -huh. Aha! <coughs> it's a squirrel. Yes, a sneaking squirrel. At night, he's clearly up to no good. I think he's just hiding peanuts. He can't steal electricity. That's what he wants you to think. Why else would he be awake? Maybe because the lights are on in the repair shed when they should be off? That's what I was gonna say before. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew the squirrel would lead us to a clue. Come on! There's no one here. But look, everything is still on. Ah, oh, nuts and bolts. I just remembered. I'm the one that left the place running when I picked up the supplies earlier. Sorry. I'll turn it all off. I guess the repair shed does use a lot of energy. No wonder Eddie keeps reminding me to turn off everything when I'm done. V! We found the culprit and fixed the problem. Another case solved by Detective Brewster. Sorry, Detective Brewster, but Eddie says the lighthouse still isn't shining. But everything in the repair shed is off now. That should have worked. Mysteries are always full of twists and turns, like winding train tracks. We had reached a dead end, and once again, we were left with nothing. Um, who are you talking to, Brewster? That's Detective Brewster, and I'm talking to... the Knight. Um, is the Knight talking back? It's quiet. Too quiet. It's not that quiet. Is that the Knight talking? Kind of sounds like a movie. A movie? That's it! Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. The movie is stealing the power from the lighthouse. Case closed. Book em, Hajo. Hmm, I wonder who left it on. Right. Clearly someone left the movie on and stopped watching. Hmm, and they zoomed right through these leaves. They're still here. Show yourself, power thief. I'm not a thief. Hoot and toot? How did you know it was us? Because I'm a great detective. Did you two leave the movie on? We were going to watch it, but then we kind of got distracted. Something is draining all the power from the lighthouse. We have to turn off anything we're not using. I guess we should have turned off the movie. Sorry. Let's check with B. I'm sure the lighthouse is working now. Brewster says they turned off the movie, which was using a lot of power. He needs to do more than that. The light still isn't back on yet. Oh no, that's the ship. It must be coming in early. Early? And without a light to guide it, it could hit the rocks. But something's still taking all the power from the lighthouse. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's turn off everything in Chuggington. Hurry! Hey, don't turn this off yet. I'm stuck up here. Oops. Sorry, Hodge. <laughs> Oh, come on, Brewster and Hodge.
much. You can do it. Come in. This is Skipper Stew. Do you read me? Stop! Stop! The lighthouse is out! This flashlight isn't bright enough. And the radio isn't working. I can't talk to the ship. V, we turned off everything. Is the lighthouse working now? No, and the ship is getting really close. Eddie and Skipper Stu are trying to get his attention, but nothing is working. Stop, stop, the lighthouse is out. You're getting too close to the rocks. <laughs> Some master detective I turned out to be. Don't give up, Brewster. You can still figure this out. But how? We turned off all the lights we could find. We must have missed a clue somewhere. Like that light in the distance? Even teeny tiny clues are important. This one is actually pretty big. It's no use. We might as well... Wait! What light? It looks like it might be coming from the drop and load yard. Aha! Uh -huh. Of course! The drop and load yard! But what could be using a lot of power there? Cormac's new motor! Ahoy there! Turn about! It's not safe! Oh, they can't hear us! Or see us! Come on, Brewster! Come on, Hodge! A pain? Turn off the crane! It looks like rain! Turn, Turn off, off the crane! crane! They did it! Oh, Stella! It was another mystery solved, another case closed. It's easy to forget that when we leave the lights on, we might just be leaving someone else in the dark. But never fear, even in the dark, Detective Brewster will be there. Are you talking to the night again, Brewster? Oops, sorry. You know, you're a pretty good detective too, Hodge. This could be the start of a wonderful partnership. Imagine that. Trainees, please report to the depot. Coco, Matambo's animal cars are finished being chug washed. I need you to bring them back to the safari park. Roger that. Ooh, I've never seen animal cars. Wilson and Brewster, there's lots of rock crushing at the quarry today. Oh. Please report there immediately. Rock crushing? How cool! Can I go with them, V? Or with Coco to do that animal car stuff? That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love the help. Not today. Skipper Stu has an important job for you at the docks. Ooh, is it pulling in a ship? Not quite. He needs you to stack containers on a ship. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like working at the docks, but stacking is so ordinary. But so important. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Bye, Ty! You guys get all the fun jobs. I'm headed to the repair shed for some maintenance. But while I'm gone, I've got a little stocking job for you. Little? This could take me all day. It'd be great if you could have it all ship shaped by the time I get back. I'd like to get this boat out of port by day's end. <sighs> aye, aye, Skipper Stu. One container. Two containers. Three containers. <sighs> I bet Coco's having loads more fun with those animal cars. Hmm. She did say she loved my help, and I could use a break. Help 
Moving the animal cars to the safari park? You're all done at the docks? Uh, I'm kind of taking a break. Until then, I'm all yours! Moving animal cars sounds exciting! Not really. Wait, where are the animals? I think you misunderstood, Ty. I'm only moving the animal cars now that they've been washed. So, there are no animals? Of course there are. This car is full of monkeys. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't see any. Coco, are you feeling okay? I like to pretend that each car is full of animals. It makes the job more fun. Can't you see them? Just use your imagination. Oh, right! Monkeys! <laughs> They're so silly! Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> and this one has baby giraffes! Aww, they're so cute! Let's get these animals to the safari park. <laughs> No snacks before lunch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys coming through. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what are you two up to? <laughs> we're just having some fun. Yeah, we were playing with some pretend animals. Ah, I do that sometimes too. I'm especially fond of Pretend elephants. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Ty. That was a blast. Have fun with your container stacking. <sighs> the words stacking and fun don't go together. Hey, Ty. How's the stacking going? Uh, fine. What are you guys doing? Just moving crushed rocks. Oh, it's not all that exciting, but we've got a trick we use to pass the time. We pretend we're in a race. A race? Yeah. We get our loads and race to where we're bringing them. Only we imagine we're racers on the Chugasonic speed track. First one to the finish line wins. Do you think I could get in on a race? Sure. Why don't you take this one, Ty? Thanks. I should warn you, I'm pretty fast. Challenge accepted. Chuggers, start your engines. Ready, set, go. Wheels to the rails. We're speed track racers. Crowd. Uh, it's only me. We know. We were just pretending. <laughs> well, could you pretend to put those hopper cars over by the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> Ty, are all the containers stacked for Skipper Stew? The ship has to leave the docks pretty soon. Oh, uh, I'm heading back there now. Got it all under control. No problem. Bye. Bye, Ty. See ya. <sighs> Stacking. One container. So boring. Unless I'm building something amazing. Imagine that. When your chores seem boring and you really feel like snoring, you can turn that job into a blast and make the time go by so fast. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is let your dreams start soaring. Imagination can turn a cloud into a sailing ship. Use your imagination and you're on it.
Not exactly the stacking pattern I had in mind. I know, but... But it's the most unique job of stacking I've ever seen. <gasps> it is? Aye. I've seen lots of cargo in my day, but I've never seen it stacked quite like that. Well done, trainee. <laughs> Whoa. Honking horns. You were so nice to come help us. We wanted to come help you. Ty's got it all ship shape. And no shipping's ever been shaped like that before, I can tell you. <laughs> I just used my imagination, like you all showed me. Perfecto. Good thinking. Nice. I do have another job for you, Ty. In fact, I could use everyone's help. It's spreading gravel around the lighthouse. That doesn't sound very exciting. Ever notice how the lighthouse kind of looks like a rocket ship? Chuggernauts! Report to the launch pad. Prepare for blast off! Next stop, the moon! <laughs> Chug encounters of the train kind. Sitting at a red light, that's where I'm at. <sighs> Waiting for a green light. <gasps> but what is that? What are you doing up? You're not going to believe this. I don't believe it. Believe what? I saw the most amazing thing up in the sky. It was bright blue. Or maybe it was white. I can't remember exactly. And then, well, you just need to see for yourselves. Come on! So, what is it exactly that we're supposed to see? <sighs> oh, look! Right there! Between the clouds! What is it? I don't see it. Where? It was like a big star that stretched out and it had a tail and it was really bright. Bright star stretched out. I wonder if it's... No, it couldn't be, unless... What? What is it? Space chuggers! Space chuggers? What are space chuggers? Mysterious chuggers from outer space that fly through the night sky. I heard they come down and take over your engine and beam you up to their planet. That's silly. They're probably just watching and learning about us. Maybe they just want to be friends. Sounds like the space chuggers already took over, Coco. <laughs> I think it's space-tastic. Well, whatever they are, I just wish I could meet them. <sighs> Maybe we can meet them tomorrow. I need some sleep. Me too. <sighs> Good night, space chuggers. Hope I see you tomorrow. Have you seen Hodge? He asked me to get a bunch of rocks. That's funny. He told us the same thing. <laughs> Follow me. We're going to the countryside. Why are we going to the... No time to explain. So, why are we all the way out here? I've been thinking about it since last night. Why would the space chuggers just be floating around in the sky? Because they don't know where to land. But they will now, because... We're going to build a landing zone. Landing zone? So they can land in Chuggington? Our Chuggington? Brewster's right. Do we really want space chuggers landing here? I think it's a great idea. Wouldn't you like to meet chuggers from another planet? Not me. I would. You know, Brewster, if they can fly in space, they can probably build cool things. They might even be space chuggineers. <gasps> Really? On second thought, let's meet some space chuggers. Rattling rivets. What a mess. Need some help cleaning it up? We're not making a mess. We're building a landing zone for the space chuggers. Oh! Who? Hodge saw space chuggers last night. You know, 
From outer space? <laughs> I remember when I was a young chugger, we'd sit around and tell stories about trains from outer space. I spent so many nights staring up at the sky, just waiting for them. Really? And did they ever come? Oh, no, I don't think so. But who knows what happened after lights out? Well, when the space chuggers come, you'll be the first one we tell. Oh, oh looking forward to it. All done. Great job, us. coming down. Can they even see our landing zone? Maybe we need to call them so they know they're welcome here. Hey, space juggers, come on down. Hello up there. I'm a chugganeer too. We're really nice. Maybe they don't understand words. Hmm, let's try our horns. I bet even space chuggers understand music. Yeah. yeah! Let's do it! Did you hear that? There they are! Space-tastic! No, it's just action, chugger. I've heard your horns and I've come to the rescue. And you made me a landing zone. Actually, that's for the space chuggers. Ah, yes. I battled space chuggers in my blockbuster movie, Star Trains. But I had no idea the real ones were coming. Well, I saw them last night, and I really want to meet them. Hmm, I must have missed them when I was on patrol. When they arrive, tell them action chugger says hello. <laughs> Let's get back to honking. I'm sure we'll get the space chuggers this time. Um, Hotch, do you think maybe the light in the sky you saw last night was actually action chugger? That kind of makes more sense than trains from outer space. No, it was space chuggers. I just know it. a moonbeam this whole time? Sure looks that way. <sighs> think I've had enough space chugger chasing. Yeah, I'm heading in. Me too. Wake us up if you find them, Hodge. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll be the very first one that gets to meet the space chuggers. You'll see. Come on, space chuggers. Where are you? Come down so that my friends can see you. I know you're up there. No one's gonna believe anything I say ever again. Yes, we will. And we do. What are you doing here? We changed our minds. We couldn't stand the thought of you out here all alone. Plus, if they really do show up, it wouldn't be very welcoming if you were the only one here to meet them. Thanks. You're great friends. But I'm starting to think you were right. Maybe there really is no such thing as... Whoa! <gasps> Is that... Could it be? Space Chuggers! They're real! I knew it! Whoa! Oh, I see I'm not the only one watching the Chuggasonic Comet pass by tonight. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, Comet? The Chuggasonic Comet. It's a giant piece of rock and ice that flies around the sun and returns once every ten years. <laughs> Did you think it was space chuggers? Kind of. Sorry to disappoint you. It is really pretty. Yeah, space-tastic. There are still lots of amazing things up there. Planets, stars, galaxies. 
But are there space chuggers up there, too? Well, who knows? The spooky chugger. Hello, Little Leaf. What a lovely dance you're doing. Hello? Is anybody in there? What's wrong? I was at the Spurline Tunnel, and I heard this strange noise. What did it sound like? Like... <gasps> Honking horns! How did you do that? Oh, sorry about that, young'uns. This wind keeps blowing the tops off the hopper cars and filling my chimney with dust. <laughs> Rattling rivets, there goes another one. All this wind is kind of scary. And I don't like being scared. It's okay, Zippy. Even an old chugger like me gets scared sometimes. <laughs> Why, I couldn't sleep for a week after Cannonball Cooper told me the story of the spooky chugger. What's the spooky chugger? A ghost train that floats around the tracks at night, making eerie noises and overturning cars. Uh... And if the spooky chugger links to your coupler, then you become a spooky chugger, too! Spooky chuggers aren't real, are they, Pete? Nah, it's just an old engine's tale. <laughs> I think. Rattling rivets who turn the lights out! Hey! Come back here! Rooster, do you think it was the spooky chugger that I heard in the tunnel? It was probably just the wind. I sure hope so. I have to take that tunnel on my way back. Hello, Mr. Spooky Chugger? Huh, I guess it is just the wind. Ah! Or the Spooky Chugger! Zephy. She should have been back ages ago. I hope she's okay. <laughs> what took you so long to get back, Zephy? I had to go all the way around the Spurline Tunnel. Why? Uh, the Spooky Chugger was in there. The what? Old Puffer Pete told us a story about a ghost train that haunts the tracks and makes scary noises. And if it links to your coupler, then you turn into a Spooky Chugger, too. I've heard that one. It's just a made-up story. It's not real. Well, it sure seems real to me. I'm never going near that tunnel again. Oh, come on, Zephy. What if we prove that there's no such thing as the spooky chugger? How are we going to do that? By going to Spurline Tunnel together and checking it out. It's, uh, pretty late, Coco. Not to mention really dark. Well, if you're just a couple of scary chuggers. What? Count me in. I'm no scaredy chugger. Uh, I think I'll stay here and guard the roundhouse. Uh, wait for me! It is kind of spooky out here tonight. Maybe Zephy did see something? Oh, Wilson, not you too. I know. We don't have to go out on the tracks to prove that there's no such thing as the spooky chugger. Chug Command, show Spurline Tunnel. Phew, nothing unusual. Let's check the surrounding areas. Show me the drop and load yard. <laughs> the spooky chugger was at the drop and load yard. I saw it. There's no such thing as a spooky chugger, Wilson. You said so yourself. You know better than to listen to me. Okay, everybody calm down. Let's go check out the drop and load yard. <laughs> who did this? It must have been the you know who. The spooky chugger's just a story. Now come on, let's get this mess cleaned up. I'll look around. Just to prove there's no spooky chuggers here. Be careful! And watch your coupler! Chugga, 
like a choo-choo. He can't scare Coco. What was that? Hello? Who's there? <gasps> ah! Go, Coco! Go, Coco! <sighs> You're finished cleaning up. Great. Let's go home. Wait! Coco! Who's the scaredy checker now? Not me. Well, maybe a little. Then I guess it's up to me to show the rest of you that this is all a lot of silly nothing. Follow me. Where are we going? I'm sorry I asked. Isn't that yours, Zephy? I must have left it here earlier. Well, we've seen everything we could see. No spooky chuggers here. Let's go. <gasps> What's that? Rooster, what are you doing? Proving to you, once and for all, that there is no such thing as... The Spooky Chugger! Yeah! Go! Let's get out of here! Shift your gears! Hold on! I need to catch my breath. But I was right, right? Sorry we didn't believe you, Zephy. Yeah. Really sorry. Please tell me that eerie sound is not an eerie sound. <gasps> huh. It was just a hopper car. But where did it come from? Now that is definitely an eerie sound. Wait a minute. I think I've heard that before. What is she doing? Seffy, when you hear scary sounds, you go away from them. It's okay. I think I know what this sound is. The spooky chugger must have her under some kind of spell. We have to save her. Tired of being a scaredy chugger. I'm going to find out what's going on. The spooky chugger! There's something familiar about it, though. No! Zephy! I can't look! Don't touch his coupler! <gasps> Old Puffer Pete? Oh, thank goodness you're here. But why are you dressed like the spooky chugger? Uh, the wind blew another tarp onto me, and I've been riding around all night trying to shake it off. So you knocked into those cars? Guess so. I couldn't see them, but I sure did feel them. Yowch! And that scary noise was just you too, wasn't it? You mean this? <laughs> So every time we heard or saw, we were scared of old Puffer Pete's tuck under a sheet. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you shouldn't be believing every spooky story you hear. Most of them are just plain puffy. No. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's the spooky chugger! Yeah, Wait, Pete! It's just Zephy. <laughs> I think the spooky chugger might be a bit of a scaredy chugger. <laughs> Truck Patrol, Mission Thunder. But not as fun as puddles. Woo hey! Look at those clouds. There's more rain on the way. And more puddles. Being out in the rain is the best. There's no place I'd rather be. Ah! I changed my mind. Did you hear that thunder? Wasn't it so cool? It sounded like when I accidentally bumped into my roundhouse door. Only way louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely louder. Hey, why 
Why are you so jumpy, Wilson? This is the loudest storm ever! You're welcome to wait it out in here while I finish Coco's tune-up. <gasps> Wilson, you don't look so great. Maybe you should have Morgan take a look under your chassis. I'm okay. Don't worry, Wilson. Thunder sounds loud and can be a little scary, but it can't hurt you. You're right. There's nothing to worry about. Except that! I know. What if we play a game to get your mind off the thunder? We could sing silly words as loud as we can. ding a ling a ling Meow toot woof! <laughs> Now you try. Choo, 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 Leo. Ah! Wilson, try closing your eyes and imagining you're in a place that makes you really happy. Okay. I'm in the ice cream factory, surrounded by cartons of ice cream rolling down the conveyor belt. I love the way the ice cream squirts out of the machine and into their containers. It's so relaxing. Yep. This is my happiest place in all of China. What happened? Are you okay? The thunder followed me into my happy place. It's just a loud sound, Wilson. Like Morgan said, it can't do anything bad. Except that! Don't worry, Wilson. It was just the wind that caused this. The power will come back on in a minute. A minute? That's a really long time. It looks like it stopped raining. The storm must be passing. Jackman to Wilson. This is Wilson. We need you at CPHQ right away. We've got a situation. On my way. Or maybe not. But you're a truck patroller, Wilson. You have to go. All the way to CPHQ? That's so far. It's uh, just next door, Wilson. I bet you can make it there without getting one drop of rain on you. I guess I can try. Here goes nothing. One, two, three! That wasn't so bad. Ah, it was bad, very bad. Oh, sorry about that. Um, Wilson reporting for duty. Thanks for getting here so fast, Chug Patroller. A safari park gate opened in the storm, and a baby giraffe named Jake got out. Oh, no! No one's seen him since. Matambo's searching the area, but so far, there's no sign of the little fella. We've got to find him! Just what we were thinking. Can we count on you, Chug Patroller? Me? Um, out there? That's the idea. Well, I think I'd be much more useful in here. I could monitor the screens, like this. Sounds like a plan. Report anything you see, Wilson. Roger that. I'm Chug Patrol, and I'm ready to, um, watch? think about something that makes you really happy. It kind of helped me when I was scared, at least for a little bit. Hmm. I know! Monkeys! 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 <laughs> monkeys it is! <laughs> They're so silly! Let's see what else we can find that makes us happy. to be Jake. Wilson to Jackman and Asher. Wilson to Jackman and Asher, come in. Ah, the thunderstorm is making Chug Calm go bonkers. <gasps> He's gonna fall on the rock crusher. No, Jake, stop, stop. I can't look. Oh no. Jake. He's okay. For now, but if 
he makes the wrong move, he could fall right in. I have got to help him. But what about the boomy booms? I'll just have to take my chances and be brave. Piper, can you be brave too and watch the screens? I need your help. And Radio Jackman as soon as Chug Calm starts working again. Okie dokie, Chiefy. I don't like the look of those clouds, but at least there's no more thunder. Ah! Double bumpers! This was a bad idea. Wait, what am I doing? A truck patroller never gives up. I'll just think about my happy place. Ice cream and sprinkles. And... This thunder just won't quit, but neither will I. I'm coming, Jake. scared of the thunder, just like me. It's okay, Jake. The thunder can't hurt you. But I need you to walk away from the edge and toward me. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Just think about a happy place. Like, you're in the safari park and your mama is there and there's no thunder or rain and it's bright and sunny. Perfecto! Now, just take one step at a time. That's it, you can do it. Don't look back, Jake. Just get up, walk towards me, and you're home free. Safe and sound. Well done, Wilson. Well done indeed. It's okay, Jake. You're safe in your happy place. You are a hero, Wilson. Yeah, well, you know, I'm Chug Patrol and I'm always ready to roll. Great job, Chug Patroller. You were very brave today. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Loud noises don't bother me at all. Ah! <laughs> 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 Looking good, Coco. You passed your checkup with flying colors. Thanks, Morgan. It feels good to know that all systems are go, go, go! Okay, Wilson, you're up. The Royal Chugger. Huh, this is interesting. Is it a dent? I hope it's not a dent. Wow, I've never seen this before. Your serial number starts with 001. Is that good? It's better than good. It means you were the first of your kind. You're like Chuggington royalty. Honking horns! Trintastic! Chuggington royalty? Me? Pleasure to meet the royal chugger. All hail his royal chuggerness. <laughs> <laughs> You're all set, your majesty. Your checkup is complete and everything looks good. Come on, your highness. The royal chugger is high up on his throne. How impressive. Thank you, my loyal subjects. Hey, if you're the royal chugger, what can Brewster and I be? Well, since you're super fast, you can be my royal messenger, Coco. Train-tastic. And Brewster, since you tell really funny jokes, I name you Royal Jester. Honkin' horns. In fact, the Royal Chugger would like to hear a joke right now. Here's one. Why did the Chugger keep derailing? Why? Why? Because he had a bad track record. <laughs> <laughs> what about me, Royal Chugger? What does the Royal Messenger do? You announce to everyone what the Royal Chugger is doing. Hear ye, hear ye. His Highness, the Royal Chugger Wilson has arrived. Well done, Royal Messenger. There you are, Wilson. Can you help Frostini over at the ice cream factory, please? Sure thing, V. Would you like to escort His Royal Majesty to the ice cream factory? All right! 
Let's ride the royal rails! Ciao, Wilson! I see you brought some helpers. We're not just helpers, Frostini. I'm the royal messenger. And I'm the royal jester. And Wilson is the royal chugger of Chuggington. It's so nice to have Chuggington royalty visit my factory. I wonder if His Majesty could help clean up inside. <laughs> sure, Frostini, happy to. Wait! Cleaning out a factory is no job for a royal chugger. It isn't? The royal messenger is right. We shall do it for ye. Wowzer! I mean, thank ye and ye. Being a royal chugger just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> what happened? We accidentally bumped into the fudge mixer. And now I've got fudge in all sorts of places. The royal chugger? has decided that we shall all visit the Royal Chugwash for a royal cleaning. Good idea, Your <laughs> Majesty. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, Royal Jester? My rubber ducky! Thanks, Wilson. No, I meant that I should go through the Chugwash first. But I've got fudge in my horn. Yeah, but I'm the Royal Chugger. <sighs> <laughs> oh, hey, Wilson. You're just in time. The movie's about to start. I know. And if you'll just move over a track so I can see it. But I got here early just to get this spot. Yeah, but I'm the royal chugger, and I've decided that I should get that spot. <sighs> Oh, there's Action Chugger. I'm gonna say hello. Save my spot, Royal Messenger. I think Wilson's taking this Royal Chugger thing a little too far. I know. Well, for one, I get to make decisions. Sorry to interrupt the movie, but we've got a situation at the quarry and I need all the trainees to report there right away. We're on it, V. Hey, Wilson, we need to go to the quarry. The Royal Chugger is kind of busy at the moment. Go ahead without me, and I'll join you later. Rattling rivets, am I glad to see you. Two? What happened to Woodrow? The Royal Chugger was busy. But don't worry, Pete. We're here. Good thing, because the conveyor belt had a bit of a glitch. Rocks went everywhere. Can you clear him off the tracks while I go tell Eddie? You got it. Sure thing. to clear. Maybe you can help, and then we can get it done faster. The Royal Chugger has decided that you are doing a fine job on your own. Wilson, playing Royal Chugger was fun and all, but now we really need your help. You may be Chuggington royalty, but you're also a trainee, and trainees help each other. Sorry, but the Royal Chugger cannot risk getting dirty. Then you know what? The Royal Chugger can finish clearing these rocks without the Royal Jester. Or the Royal Messenger. <sighs> Come on, Wilfred. Those rocks aren't going to move themselves. But I'm the Royal Chugger. <laughs> and I'm the ruler of rocks. Now let's get busy. <sighs> Another rock. <clears throat> Ow! How's it going, Wilton? <sighs> Slow. What happened to your friends? They're royally mad at me. Well, no idea what that means, but just keep at it. Otherwise, this could take all night. All night? I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, your majesty. No, it's just me. 
Wilson. What happened to being royalty? Being royal is no fun if you don't have best friends to enjoy being royal with. I'm really sorry. Well, I guess we can forgive you. If you start acting like you again. I will, I promise. Yay! Job. Let me just take a quick look at your chassis. I'll make sure you didn't damage anything underneath. Huh. That's interesting. What is it? What's wrong? Remember when I told you your number started with 001? We remember. I guess I was reading it upside down. It's actually 100. You weren't the first of your kind, Wilson. You were the 100th. So I'm not chugging to royalty? Sorry, Wilson. Perfecto! I don't want to be royalty anymore. I just want to be a trainee again. Wheels to the rails! Huh, would you look at that? Now that's a 001. Which means that Brewster is really chugging to royalty! Don't say it! <laughs> 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 